class, the chairperson, vice chairperson, chief guest teachers, and my dear friends. Today I am here to share my opinions on the hot news, No Not Again. No Not Again is a social social media campaign run against the elderly established, unaware, illiterate, power-centric, corrupted leaders which are, who are standing in the parliament election and provincial election from 2022 in Nepal. This campaign was begun when the election of Commission of Nepal uh, issued a statement against social media pages running the campaign in the provision of Ministry of Ener Energy, Water Resources and Irrigation Kumbha uh, After that, the campaign took the significant role uh, in the social media including Facebook, Twitter and Instagram too. This is also the necessary of the time. It is about 30 years of the country to turn into the multi-party democratic system. But still the condition of the country is the same, the same as the Ponsai rule due to the political leaders. Still there, still there are 30% of people living uh, are compelled to live under the poverty and 10% of people are being unemployed in our country. Literary rate is also not as a developed country. Only 35% of people are literate in our country. About 6 lakhs of people, Nepali citizens left, left, left the country for better in hope to better livelihood. Likewise, we cannot see the proper growth and development of the country. In the sectors of industry, trade, employment, service and so on. These this all are due to the, due to the political leaders. They, uh, they are appointed in their post for the uh, prospective development and de growth and development of the country. Council of Ministers appointed by the parliament process to the respective uh, jobs to, to encourage the productivity of the development. But due to the lack of far-sighted plan and policies, uh, we cannot see the proper growth and development. This is all due to the favoritism and nepotism of the political resulting resulting the unaware, power-centric, corrupted leaders who are even unknown about the geography, geography, Nepali identities and price, perspective of development, uh, development and uh, excess knowledge about the about their ministry. In our country, there is no specific academic qualification to to enter into the politics, they, the people who didn't even have certificate of SFC can can appoint for the post prime minister, respective post prime minister. Likewise, most of the leaders, most of the leaders invest a huge amount of money for politics and regain after winning. And and we can see the, as the present view. Without even knowing the actual provision of NCC, most of the leaders of the parliament passed it and signed it easily. This is how tricky for our country. After winning the election, they, they, do, not, they do not see for the Nepali situation and work as for the election manifesto. So, to overcome all the problems of our country and to see the further development and growth of the country, we should choose, we should choose politically aware young star who is are actually interested in the politics and please who knows about about excess knowledge of the politics so we should we should support this campaign and run on nation run nation wise we should by this campaign most of the young star by this campaign we can generate some young stars in the parliament in the parliament and change the unmanaged scenario of Nepal into the well-managed and well-developed country. Thank you. Hello. Namaste everyone. I am Mangeshwar Prabhu. This is my YouTube channel. YouTube channel for information and innovation. So like, comment and share. Thanks for watching.